Hey guys, welcome to this week's day in the life. Well, actually, I guess it's more of an evening in the life. With all the things going on with my transition to homeschool and me having less free time in the day, this is a solution that I've come up with for both my life and on my channel. I'm just going to try to save my cleaning and things like that for the evening. And since it's just more peaceful in the evening, I thought it would also be a good time to do some cleaning motivation. And so, I don't know, let me guys, let me know what you guys think about this series. Because the vision that I have is that it would be a cool time for us to come together and basically get motivated to do our routines together. I'll take you guys along with me as I do my zone cleaning, which I think I'm going to start doing in the evening as well, and aspects of my weekly home blessing. And so since all the routines are pretty um, realistic, I can get all those things done in the evening instead of during the day, which is what I used to do before. And so, um, yeah, if you like this style of video, just let me know. Like I said, I want to make videos that are realistic for me to make, but also I want to make videos that you guys enjoy. So here I'm just doing my evening routine and I'm cleaning with some of that Mrs. Meyer, is it the honeysuckle scent? Um, that's my favorite scent. And I'm just lighting some candles, which I'll talk to you guys about that in just a moment. Uh, basically, I'm just trying to make this like an experience instead of something that I need to check off my checklist. And I'll talk to you guys about that in just a moment. And also, I'm going to talk about what my goals are for my homekeeping system slash fly lady system as I move into my second year. I want to try things a little bit different this time. And I'm going to talk to you guys about my goals and some things that I'm going to try to hopefully help me uh, accomplish my goals. Hello and welcome to our first evening check-in. So with all the things going on with home, school, and just things really picking up during the day, I figured that this would actually be a really good time, like in the evening, to just like do our cleaning routines together, do our zone cleaning, do our weekly cleaning, and just do all that kind of stuff together in a way where it doesn't just feel like stressful and like I have to do a lot at once. Um, historically, I I try not to clean in the evening because I just like to feel confident that I'm getting my stuff done and checked off my list before you know my energy runs out for the day. But with all the homeschooling and all that stuff going on, I just know that um, this is just going to be the best time for me right now you know because I obviously don't have the kids and so I figured that if this is something that I have to do if I'm going to give this evening thing a try then I'm going to have to make it a complete experience so I want this to be you know just a form of self-care because I do feel like having my routines together pulling my house together and doing the things that I can to just make it you know clean and comfortable it is a form of self-care for me because I'm the one who cares you know like my family they get the benefits of it but literally if I don't do my routines I know from history that everybody's gonna be just fine but it makes me feel better to get this stuff done and it boosts my mood so I'm going to make this a whole like self-care experience um, instead of, you know, looking at it in a negative way and being frustrated that I have to do it in the evening. And I was inspired to do it this way because of my friend um, who, I don't know, she just does motherhood so beautifully and um, she really talks about the importance of trying to make it like a good experience and her name is Kenneth's Corner. And so I'm like, I really like that and I'm going to try to incorporate more of that into my life just instead of trying to be so logistical all the time is that even a word like trying to be so efficient all the time I'm really gonna like try to have a life where I slow down and I'm intentional and I just try to enjoy the process as much as I can even though I don't think I'll ever love cleaning 
So today I've done my evening routines and now I have some tea here. I usually end most nights with a cup of tea because um, I hate drinking water. That's the truth, I'm not fancy. Tea just helps me get through it so I won't dehydrate and die. But um, today I wanna talk about, I guess my goals for year two. Um, for those of you who don't know, I've been doing my routines and my fly lady system for a year in August. And so um, I don't want to relive the same year because I feel like year one is really good because it helped me gain confidence. It helped me realize that through all the craziness that this system is so realistic for me. And it's something that it just works. It, it, it's something that I can easily squeeze into my life. But um, as I mentioned before, this first year has just been all about like efficiency and trying to figure out the best way to work it into my life. And I think I've my first year I was definitely a lot in my head like just make it work how can we be efficient how can we just get this done and now that I have the foundation and I have that experience I feel a lot more confident but this year I think I really want to put the emphasis on more just being in my heart because um, I don't know when I've thought about being like you know mom and having a family I've always thought about having like a warm and welcoming and inviting abiding atmosphere but I've always felt like really intimidated by like doing, you know, like cutesy decor and, you know, just doing all the cutesy stuff because I felt like I wasn't good at it. And that's one of the problems with the perfectionism that I have. If I don't think I can do it well, I just kind of put it off and I'm just like, okay. And then another issue I had is that I, one of my home used to feel like out of control. To me, when your home looks crazy, like the clutter, and the decorations kind of all look the same and so I just felt like decorations were more for me to clean and more for me to keep up with and that was also something that discouraged me but now that you know I feel like more confident my spaces are getting more and more under control I feel like I'm ready and I want to add like more warmth into my home and so that is what I'm going to just really put a lot of focus on for round two year two of my fly lady journey and so another thing that's kind of given me some um, inspiration and that has really made me feel like I can do this is the fact that during my peaceful homekeeping journey I've been posting content on my Instagram page and I came across some influencers who kind of share behind the scenes and how they bring their content to life and how they can be so consistent and one thing that I noticed that a lot of bigger influencers do is they have a lot of like um, mood boards and I always felt intimidated by that until I kind of saw what they were doing. What I saw some of the ladies doing were literally taking like a word document and putting like one of those um what are those called like one of those charts in there I'll show you guys what I'm talking about and then they would go through Pinterest and find like the things that inspired them and made them feel awesome and then they would just put it inside of a Google Doc or Word Doc and put some notes there like I like this and I want to basically recreate it and they just made it seem like you know to be an influencer you don't have to be um, creative with everything like use other people's inspiration and then you just add your ideas to it or you make it your own because obviously you can't copy other people exactly or you can but it's always going to be your own flair when you do it and so I tried to do that with some of my Instagram pictures and I totally, it made me feel more confident that like, it's not like I don't have to think of this stuff from scratch, you know? And I know that you can always do like the inspiration and all that stuff, but for the first time, it just feels like it doesn't overwhelm me. That's what I'm saying. I, yeah. Anyway, so that's what I'm going to spend time doing today as I do my zone cleaning I just want to kind of start thinking of ideas and what I can be doing to just add like little pops of color in the house and just little things I can do to make it feel more warm and welcoming and inviting. So this week I am in zone two in my kitchen and on my Instagram you guys get to see me um, do 
my freezer today and so before I move out of this zone my goal is just to at least have some things on the way that I feel like would make my home feel like more warm and cozy and ready for fall and uh, also next week I'll be in zone 3 which is like my boys room my office so for my boys room that's where I want to put the emphasis on next week and so they are overdue for some comforters so I'm going to be thinking about how I want to do their room in terms of like new comforters um, pillowcases um, maybe like over like those blankets that you throw over the bed and like if that's all I accomplished this month that's great but to me that's progress and then next month I can you know take things up to the next level sometimes it feels like this pressure that when you want to make your home look nicer or get into decorating that you have to do these makeovers and grand rebuilds but um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go about it that way because that overwhelms me but I'm okay with just doing it a little bit at a time so that's what I'm gonna spend the next few minutes doing is um, just kind of going through Pinterest getting some inspiration I'll show you guys my vision board and then I think I'm gonna let you guys go. I have some things that I need to work on and I need to get to bed and get ready for another day tomorrow. So I will see you guys whenever we do the next one. Also, if you're new to my channel, please feel free to subscribe. Uh, my name is Lede and I talk about my peaceful homekeeping journey here. And if you guys like this style of video, let me know. I actually really enjoyed like putting this video together. So I hope you guys like it because it's so much easier to like get stuff done when the little babies are in bed. So. Okay, so let me get to planning and I'll show you guys what I got and I'll see you guys next time.